In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can easily skip over the optional setups for the Diamond Casino Heist in GTA Online. This is one of the most simple tricks that you can do, so you will not want to miss it. But before we move ahead with this video, I post daily GTA Online content, ranging from the likes of guides, news, speedruns, and more. So if you want to see more content just like this then do consider subscribing to the channel. Now onto the video. To do this trick, you will first need to make sure that you have the vault content setup done and you have chosen your heist approach. Otherwise, you will not be able to access your optional setups. Before we move any further with this trick, you do need to know that this will not work for the Duggan shipment setup, as you cannot pay to skip this one. You will also need enough funds in your account to initially pay to skip these setups, but do not worry, this will not cost you anything once you have finished this trick. Now, what you will want to do is initially pay to skip over any of the optional setups you want to be completed. You will need to wait a second or two after you purchase a setup before you can purchase the next one, otherwise this will not be guaranteed to work. When doing this trick, you cannot leave the heist board, otherwise you will lose any money that you have spent on the setups, as you will want to keep your money. Now after you have paid to skip all of the optional setups you have wanted to be completed, you will want to then start a setup that you have not yet completed, and this can be any setup. It is essential by this point that you have still not left the heist board, otherwise you will lose your money. When you have started the setup, as soon as you spawn in outside of your arcade, you will want to close your GTA game down completely, or disconnect your internet from your PC or console. Once you have done this, you can load into a game whenever you may please, and then if done correctly, your optional setup should be completed. As I had mentioned earlier on in the video, I do post a lot of GTA Online content, ranging from the likes of GTA Online guides, news, speedruns, and GTA 6 content. Additionally, I also stream around 3 to 4 times a week on this very channel, where I do heist, businesses, and help out subscribers, so if you want to jump into a really friendly and kind community, consider subscribing to this channel. And now, I'll see you in the next one.